In this section, let's learn about sequences. What is a sequence? A series of numbers or a series of alphabets. When you say a series, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4 or it can be 10, 20, 30, 40. It's a series of numbers. Just like that, what if, if you want to create a series of numbers in a database? The main advantage of sequence is if you want to insert unique values in a table instead of you thinking every time what unique value should I insert into a table, we can use a sequence. Let, let a sequence do its job. How do you create a sequence? It's create sequence, sequence name, the minimum value should be 1. And the maximum value should be this number. Start with 1. So the first number should be 1. And it should be incremented by 1. That means it should say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is the series which we want. And we are saying cache 10. That means store the first 10 values in the memory. So that it can return in a most faster way. And how do we get values from the sequence? It should be select the sequence name next val means give me the next val from the sequence. So from the dual. If you want to know what is the current number in the sequence, you have to say select sequence name dot cur value which means current value from dual. Now let's check the demo. So here I am saying create sequence, sequence name, minimum value should be 1, max value should be this, start with this and increment by 1 and cache the 10 values. So let me create the sequence. So sequence, customer sequence created. Now let me find out the value. Select customer sequence dot next val from dual. So it will return 1. If I execute one more time, it returns 2. If I execute one more time, 3, 4, 5. Every time you get a value using the next val, it increments by 1. So now you don't know what is the current value. Okay. For that, it is select customer sequence dot current value from DUA and run it. See, you see the current value is 8. That is how you can create a sequence and get the current value and the next value from the database and these sequences are mostly used in inserting unique data into a table.